you're watching the fantastic Mr. B. Okay, in today's lesson, we're going to multiply whole numbers with zeros. For my first problem, I have 305 times 24. And you can notice I have a zero right there. So 4 times 5 equals 20. So I regroup my 2 and put my zero. And then I have 4 times 0, which equals 0, plus 2 is 2. And then I have 4 times 3, which equals 12. Now I'm going to make sure, since I'm multiplying by my 10 spot, I annex a 0 in my 1s. And then I'm going to do 2 times 5, which equals 10. So I regroup my 1 and put my 0 down. And then I have 2 times 0, which equals 0, but plus 1 is 1. And then I have 2 times 3, which equals 6. Now I take my two partial products and I add them together. 0 plus 0 is 0, and 2 plus 0 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3, and 6 plus 1 is 7. My answer is 7,320. For my second problem, I have 410 times 72. Now I start my problem just like with regular multiplication of 2 times 0, which is 0. I have to put a zero there because it's a place value holder. I can't just leave it blank. Now I'm going to move on to 2 times 1, which is 2. And then I'm going to do 2 times 4, which is 8. Now I'm going to move on to my 10 spot of my 7. And since I'm really multiplying by 10s, I need to annex a zero. So I have 7 times 0, which is 0. Remember, I have to put my zero here because that's a placeholder. And then I do 7 times 1, which is 7 and then 7 times 4, which is 28. I take my two partial products and I add them together. 2 plus 0 is 2. Uh, 8 plus 7 is 15, so I regroup my 1 and put my 5. 8 plus 1 is 9, and 2. So my answer is 29,520. Until next time, this is the Fantastic Mr. B. Please click subscribe, like, and share.